Making Forces. Today I visit the Dutch painter Suzanne Schuttelaar at the studio in Gouda. It has been more than 25 years that we met at the Art Academy in The Hague. We were students and seemed to have different times in the 90s. Now we both work in a realistic style, but our subjects are quite different. Where Suzanne's paintings are about women and pain, my paintings seem to show romantic moments in light and mood. Something in our conversation will explain why we see this difference in our work. We were at the same school at the same time, but our stories are different. I don't really like visiting colleagues. I'm sorry. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I painted a lot of people, but um, not that many men. I usually paint women. Yeah. So for you, it's different too. Well, you got a face, so. Okay. <laughs> that sounds really ridiculous. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm You all got right. a face. <laughs> I'm, I'm Are you seriously sniffing your jar? Yeah, I need to know what's white spirit and what's linseed oil. Okay. <laughs> really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> linseed oil wasn't a problem to, 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 to inhalate, but uh, white spirit is uh, worse. Okay. I know you you use self-created models created with I, with uh, AI mm -hmm. and um, don't you miss uh, that that uh, kind of soul that you feel when you paint from a live model no <laughs> you don't no. miss it no not at all no ah. no I think the, the artificial uh, emotion, yeah. Huma the artificial humanity is good enough uh, for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that makes me really curious. Uh, it is actually interesting. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really interesting. Uh, you, you sort of why don't you miss that? That's really, you, you're painting uh, uh, human, humans, yeah. but you don't miss them. No, I don't miss humans. It's really interesting. Yeah, and now you want the psychological evaluation of this statement. Um, I don't know. I'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm looking for an answer, but I'm an artist and not a... And not a psychologist. Sci no. Yeah. So I don't have the answer for it, but I'm really curious. Maybe it's just easier. It's, it's, uh, it's hassle-free. It's completely hassle-free. Yeah, it is. So you don't have to deal with... Um, with the, the actual human um, demands or... Yeah, but that means wishes. that you're already thinking... You, you, you already think um, in paintings before you start. Yeah, most definitely. And you're not, yeah, not thinking from out of a, a, a lady who you know that you want to use, well, that's a strange word, but actually you, you use a model for your painting and you, you choose your models and no, no, they exist. Yeah, no. and the, the painting, the, the idea is there first. Yeah. And then the, the, the model is sort of the, the vessel to create what you want. Yeah. And it's easier to create what I want uh, with the artificial human than with the actual human. Mm -hmm. Sort of that maybe explains it a little bit. 
Yeah, that makes it uh, more clear for me. Yeah. And that's even more interesting, but because I, I never think uh, in paintings before I start. I, I, I even uh, try not to think in paintings because um, I have learned that it uh, distracts me while I'm working. I, I really want to feel free to let me to, 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 to let it su surprise me what happens in, in almost everything. So you go out? Yeah. You yeah. see something? And I am out, you know, you're traveling, you okay. you're, well, you're go to the shop for something and then it's suddenly, wow, I should paint this. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I see people that I find interesting because I'm a, I am a people painter. Mm -hmm. um, but I hardly ever um, invite them to sit for me no. to make a painting. Sometimes I did, but not regularly. And I guess it's more about the uh, sort of the emotion and the story mm -hmm. in the painting than the actual person. Sorry, can you repeat that? It's sort of more about the story. Yeah. Than the actual person that yeah. is portrayed. So the the person is more uh, the translator or, or the. Are the characters maybe? Yeah, the your, characters in yeah. the story. You yeah. are a writer in in paint. It's in images. In images. Yeah. Yeah. And my medium is paint. Instead of photography or mm -hmm. theater or music or whatever. I never paint a lady uh, like you. That's what I realize now. Uh, uh, you, you are different than, than... Than everybody else. <laughs> of course you are. But I mean, <laughs> you're different than, than any... Well, not that I painted that many, many models of faces. Or I'm, I'm more a house... Became more a house painter, of course, a portraitist of houses. But at the academy and before the academy, I used to paint portraits. Yeah. And I would like to do it more and more now. Yeah, I, I painted a lot of people, but um, not that many men. I usually paint women. Yeah. So for you, it's different too. Well, you got a face, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds really ridiculous. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm you all right. You got a face. <laughs> I'm all right, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Two eyes and a nose. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that you have been working a lot with AI. <laughs> Your vocabulary really changed in the last few months. <laughs> I got two eyes and a nose. And You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you explain a little about the, this method? How how does it work? Painting and working from and with AI. Wait, uh, you form an idea in your head, mm -hmm. and then um, you start thinking about um, words to describe your idea, mm -hmm. which the bot, it's called a bot. That's the, the software. The, the software, app. yeah, the computer, the, the big bot computer that you communicate with mm -hmm. will understand and can translate into an image mm -hmm. in exactly the way that you want it to be. So that's what you do. Yeah. So you're sort of a writer. Yeah. And an image maker. Yeah. And then you can also um, incorporate, if that's the correct word, um, images, mm -hmm. your own images, images from other people, whatever. Mm -hmm. So then you can build and build and build your idea mm -hmm. as an image. And then use that as your sketch. There, there's people that use um, the image that they generate as is. Yeah. 
I don't do that. I uh, use it as my sketches, as my basis for my painting. Yeah. And now I'm really curious then, what, what are those stories about? I see uh, beautiful young ladies in, in, in restaurants, in uh, train stations. Um, yeah. Okay. What is it about? It's your about. Work? It's about. It's all, all, all. It's very, very personal, of course. But it's. Yeah. It's, um, uh, um, sort of the torment um, that women and girls have to go through. Yeah. And it's all about pain. Okay. And uh, suffering and misery. Yeah. And it's sort of. They're sort of um, confronting the viewer with um, their pain, their victory, also their victories. It's sometimes it's also okay. a little bit more positive, but it's not a happy painting. No. no. And you found your way in the art business as an independent artist by selling your work online. Yep. And uh, is this already since a long time? No, since... Um, the selling online, I mean. Yeah, I know. Since uh, the corona pandemic. Yeah. Before that, I was poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, before that, I tried to sell my work through galleries and um, that was not very successful hmm. um, and I sort of had a um, a gallery allergy um, you had a gallery allergy, allergy. yeah because um, uh, sort of when you when you uh, when you finish art school, you want to be an artist. You want to be a real artist, and you want to do shows in museums and, and that kind of thing. And you need to. They teach you that you gotta sell your work through the galleries. That's the way to go, and you gotta be uh, true to yourself and uh, not too commercial and it's gonna be real art mm -hmm. and um, so I never looked to sell online because it was kind of dirty um, but the gallery allergy started uh, actually on the graduation party from uh, the art school because mm -hmm. there was this one wonderful teacher <laughs> we don't Which use cynical. names in videos. We don't use names, no. That, um, he came to me at the graduation party and yeah. said, here's my friend over there. Yeah. He's got a gallery in Amsterdam. Yeah. If you give him uh, a really good night, wink, wink. Oh, really? You can uh, be part of Do you of mean this? It. Yeah, you can be part of his show in Amsterdam, in his gallery. Oh, this is terrible. So that went, real, that went down really wrong with me and I... I I sort of translated that in my mind. That you thought this is the art world? This is the art world. Oh, this is the gallery no, world. No, no, yeah, no, you no. got to sleep with the bastards. It was your graduation party. Graduation party, yeah. Oh. The school's graduation party. Yeah. yeah. And you probably know which teacher I mean, because it was well known that he was uh, sort of a, a Yeah, I, th a I think I know. Yeah. Yeah, we will have <laughs> a chat about this later. Yeah. Without naming names. 
which we should actually just do, but whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I had some galleries. I had like two galleries um, where the owners were not men. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, of course not. For sort of my own personal yeah. safety. Um, and galleries, yeah, they have like 50 to 60 people that they uh, uh, try and sell work for. So they really don't care if they sell one of your paintings or 20 of your paintings as yeah. long as they make money. So I was not making money selling art through the galleries. I had uh, several uh, uh, exhibitions in several museums uh, over uh, the, in the Netherlands. Okay. And they don't pay you. That's really bad, so you don't make a living from that. So you, mm -hmm. you're trying to make real art, and beautiful stuff, and uh, stuff that's never been done before. You try to be really original, and you make zero uh, euros. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I taught, besides the trying to sell stuff, mm -hmm. as a necessity, of course. Um, and then Corona came. And I couldn't teach anymore, so I had an income of exactly zero euros. So, so I thought, I'll go work in a supermarket, but I'm yeah. too old to work in a supermarket. <laughs> so the, uh, I didn't get a job there, and then I thought, I got to do what I do the best yeah. and try and make money that way. And the only way was uh, to sell your work online, mm -hmm. in auctions, online auctions. And... Uh, that really went wonderfully well right from the start. Great. And there are no uh, horny gallery holders. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, maybe there are online, but I don't have to meet them or see them or handle or, or do business with them at mm -hmm. all. So for me, it's a very safe uh, way of selling art. Yeah. But I feel really sorry for you to hear this story. Yeah, and it's I, I really a shame that it's, um, it's a uh, shame. art business became got this face for yeah. you in the beginning. Absolutely. Um, I didn't know this, but we were at the same school, so it's really yeah. shocking to hear this story. It's it's yeah, actually, it makes me really angry, upset. Yeah, it what did me too. Nonsense. Him. Absolute nonsense. And he was able to. You were a twenty-two young girl. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. 26, I think. 26. Yeah, so a nice young lady, and then you say something like that. And it probably is still going on in the world 100%, and at that school probably, you never know. If it's not that school, it's another school. Yeah. And of course, I can imagine this is maybe partly where your work is, a, what your work is about. And not that occasion, but other occasions, yes. Yeah. Because that occasion, nothing really happened. It was just shocking for me yeah. to experience that a teacher would do that. Yeah. No, I almost feel um, decadent. I mean... <laughs> but you didn't experience that. <laughs> no, I, I just... Uh, Maybe I was we can arrange for, something I for was, you. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for four years and I immediately noticed that I wasn't at the right place to learn painting. But uh, you had fun hopefully I, I would learn something else. <laughs> well, in the end I did. And, and then I started painting beautiful romantic scenes. Yeah. And, it's it's funny. It's a totally different approach than than your story, and now we are here together, exploring our faces. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's really yeah. It's, yeah, it's, but you it's, probably sort of had a hard time as well because of the subject that you painted. Oh, it was yeah. it was very hard. We yeah. had really really heavy conversations, discussions. Yeah. Uh, one of them refused to teach me actually. Yeah. He said, you must change... Your subject, yeah. Yeah, your plans, your subjects, and... Uh, Which is ludicrous as well. It's, it's also very hurtful and non-productive. <laughs> it 
actually looks better this way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. Cool. What's your favorite paint? You mean if I have to choose between uh, watercolor mm -hmm. and oil? Mm -hmm. It's difficult to say that. It's so totally different. Um, I prefer watercolor paint maybe in the way that um, you can put some water and paint on a piece of paper and, 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 and drink tea to see what's happening. Yeah, and not have the hassle. And when you put oil paint on your canvas, it just remains there at that place and it happens. There doesn't happen anything. That's not a problem, but it's uh, totally different. And um, maybe that's a different thing for some people that watercolor paint uh, is moving and changing and, uh, and that's exactly what I like yeah <clears throat> painting that paints itself a little bit yeah that's uh, well said And is there something in the process that guides you? Something like reading certain books, listening to some kind of music <laughs> or a film? That is really funny that you asked me that. Yeah? Yeah. Because um, I listen to uh, like a million reruns of Harry Potter oh? books. You listen to books, yeah, audio books. Yeah, I, I listen to the books, yeah. It's always the same six books, and then I start... Oh, from, really? From one you listen over to them again. over and over again? Over and over again, yeah. So the repetition... Yeah. Um, I know every word from every book, so it sort of puts me in a slightly hypnotic state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which helps me... Uh, so c could it have been another book, another book, no, or no? It has to be the Harry Potter books. Why? I don't know because I, I don't. I don't know. I find them very comforting. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with your work. Absolutely uh, nothing. No. No. No, because that was my question. If there is anything that um, guides you in a, in an artistic way. Oh, in that way. no, no, nothing. Nothing. I hardly ever go to uh, a museum. Oh. I hardly ever go to uh, a gallery. Oh. I'm really not interested in what other people do. It, it sounds so strange, but I'm just not. No. I just like to work. Yeah. And now... Uh, with the social media, you see stuff other people do. And I mm. think that, that's fun. That's fun. So my uh, Instagram feed um, consists of uh, artists yeah. and boxers. Boxers? Boxers. Oh. A lot of boxing. But I don't really like visiting colleagues. I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, you I, stayed away for 20 something years oh, yeah, so that's yeah. okay so I, I had a reason to <laughs> disturb that's you fun. in your studio yeah no, and now we're doing something and, and yeah yeah we're not yeah. just having tea and talking about the work yeah, yeah. it's uh, interesting that you tell me this um I haven't been visiting um, colleagues for 20 years. And then I was asked for a huge job painting, background paintings for uh, American TV series. 
and we did this with uh, eight painters. What, here in the Netherlands? Uh, yeah, we worked in Amsterdam in a studio and later we were able to make them in their, our own studios mm -hmm. because it was a job for one year. And after that we, we did another one, also a year. And this opened my eyes uh, in, a, in a certain way that I noticed that there seemed to be so much more than I ever could know because it was only in my studio. Yeah, but so much more in what sense? Um, the confrontation that when you work together you not only see how other people work but you see as well how you work. You see your weak points, your weak, your weaknesses. You mm -hmm. see your uh, strengths, hopefully. Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. And um, yeah, it it it, um, it it awakes a lot. You know what I mean? New possibilities. Um, yeah, but you sort of need the right people for that. Hmm? You sort you, you really need the right people. Yeah, well then 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 I met the right people. Yeah. yeah. But, but it was also really a confrontation with myself. Um, I'm sure, yeah. To, to, to change in a certain way. Well, not change, maybe... Open up or sort of... Yeah. 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 Well, with eight people, we have made more than a thousand paintings in a year. So we just worked very... Yeah. Fast and hard, and we had to work in the style that this film director told us. And um, yeah, then you really get to know each other, and uh, you see where you need each other. And um, when these two years were finished, I was hungry for more, so that. Uh, was the moment that I decided to make this podcast that I made. Mm -hmm. I worked a year on it, not not full time, but uh, sometimes uh, in between. And um, well, meeting you and other painters and, and working together is maybe because of this job that I know that it's really good to do and not stay alone mm -hmm. in the studio all the time, which I really like. It's so comfortable to be alone. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Yeah.
It's all right. You can uh, can move. But it is fun though, and it's good practice. Yeah? Yep. Not a waste of your time. Of course not. It's painting. Yeah, it's painting, you're right. You must be really a fast painter when you sell yep. Yep. around three paintings a week. Yeah, I try not to work on a painting longer than two days. Okay. You make large paintings and you don't want to work longer than two days in the painting. No. And of course the uh, the advantage for me is that it doesn't have to resemble no. anyone. It, it's not an assignment, so... No. As long as it looks like a, a decent human being, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's fine. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Shit. What happens? I dripped on you. Oh. Ah, that's a shame, actually. You finally look good. Maybe if I wouldn't have been a vegetarian, I think I would look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference in the look of a vegetarian? Yeah, a bit more rough fat. A rough uh, fat, okay. Yeah. More animal fat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More animalistic. Okay. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of guy who uh, is very good at uh, barbecue cooking with neighbors in the garden. Yeah, wood chopping. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And he's got a bit more hair than you do. Yeah. Even more. And, and it's really fun that you uh, decided to use the, the backside of your brush and just started drawing in it. So free. Oh, that was the palette knife. Oh, a palette knife, yeah. 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 yeah, why not? I kind of like those lines. Um, artistic freedom. Yeah. Yeah, it works, okay. in yeah, my why opinion. Not? Why not? Yeah. We were having fun anyway, so... Yeah, that's what I see. And I uh, like the, the brush strokes. And... Um, yeah, you see that... Um, we used each other faces and not uh, each other photographs, not from pictures, but really... Uh, now you get my seriousness. Yeah. I like that. Oh, you were so the concentration. hard to, to translate and paint. It was really hard to do. <laughs> the beginning was maybe hard and then later... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's hard because we are moving all the time, you know? Yeah, but I totally recognize myself... Yeah, I'm happy with that. ...in your painting. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, the, the, the level of concentration is there. That's fun. Mm -hmm. I like that. So how was this experience for you, working from live model again after nine years? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it should be a reoccurring uh, event. Yeah? Yeah, it's very good for the, uh, for the brain and uh, as an exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. But you didn't yeah. miss it in those years. I don't believe in missing things. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh. No, I had other stuff to do. Uh. I keep myself busy, so yeah. that's no problem. Uh. 
no, did I miss it? No, no, no. But it's just fun. Yeah. It's, it's fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it's. Uh, a and do you think uh, it it will change your approach to your own work? No. Maybe. No. 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 When I'm gone. You're gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately continue on the, with that painting uh, over Yeah, there. put on the, turn on the laptop yeah. and uh, let's go. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry yeah. Potter, yeah. yeah.